Welcome to Penn State Hershey Research. My name is Jeff Graham, and I'm an ALS patient. Jeff is a patient at Penn State Hershey, but today he's brought his mother, sister, and first wife for a special purpose. You don't argue with them, so you just, yes, yes, sir, I'll be right there, and I'll bring my spit. Jeff's family is participating in Penn State Hershey Institute for Personalized Medicine's biorepository program. They're donating their DNA for use in future ALS research studies and are the first family to donate three generations of DNA to Penn State Hershey. The research is needed. Uh, we hope that it will help other people. And if my brother asked me to do something, I'll do it. <laughs> so I did it for him as well. Hopefully we can identify what gene is mutated and what might be the cause of ALS because it's a note at this point. And if that could be uh, found out, it would help many people, I would think. I'm interested in finding out why this happens, because it sucks. And I don't want it to happen, I certainly don't want it to happen to you, and I don't want it to happen to anybody else. Well, the donor part of the research is very simple. It doesn't involve needles or anything like that. You just uh, come and spit in a tube, and that's pretty simple. And uh, from there, it's uh, turned into a DNA genome, and it can be recorded and registered. The only problem is, is as soon as they hand you the tube and say, here, fill this with spit, your mouth immediately goes very dry. <laughs> and so there's an awkward moment where you just stare at the tube and go, that's not going to happen. But the only one should get spit, and it's fine. Everybody should do it. It's fun. As research continues, Jeff continues his care at Penn State Hershey's ALS clinic. I'm so glad Jeff found Hershey Medical Center because uh, he's been a lot of different places and gotten a lot of different reaction from doctors and counselors about the disease. And here's the first place that he's found that when they said, you have a terminal disease, let's see what we can do about it. And that makes a huge difference, as opposed to just being told to go home and die. They didn't give false hope. They didn't say, we will cure you. But they said, let's do something about it. To learn more about how you can help with research at Penn State Hershey Institute for Personalized Medicine, call toll-free 855-369-3540, or visit our website at med.psu.edu ipm. <laughs>